dull, lifeless, grey trim that's letting down a really low mile car. It doesn't have to be like that, it could be deep, dark and lustrous like this. All done with one product, but what is that product? G-Technic C4 Permanent Trim Restorer. Now, if you've seen an early 2000 Porsche box store or any Porsche from that era, you know that the trims fade and fade badly. This is a really low mile car, 15,000 miles, and the trim looks like it's been through the wars. But, like I say, we can, we can fix that, that's why we're here. What's your first step in restoring your trim though? Giving it a good clean. Now, before I come to the contact wash stage, I thought I'd give it a tickle down with some degreaser. Here I'm using a strong pre-wash. You could use a degreasing agent or an all-purpose cleaner diluted down to the manufacturer's recommendations. But effectively, we want to ensure that the surface is as clean as possible. But once you've done that, and you've given that a thorough rinse down with a pressure washer, garden hose, or even just um, maybe a watering can of water. You just need to rinse that off. You can come back in with your standard buckets and give it your normal wash down. Again, we're just trying to get that trim as clean as we can before we then start the coating process to ensure that the permanent trim restoral will last as long as possible on the car. That's the goal of using a coating at the end of the day. But once the car was washed, um, grabbed the big boy blower and gave it a real good blow down just to ensure it was perfectly bone dry. Now the final stage in preparation is to give it a wipe down with panel wipe. Before I use any coating, I'm always coming in with some alcohol based cleaner to remove any last fingerprints, oils or anything that's got on it since it's been dried. Again, all we're looking to do is ensure it's as perfectly clean as possible before we come back with a coating and ensure that we're getting maximum results from what we want. Now what do you get when you buy the product? Inside the box, you get your bottle of coating, whether you opt for the smaller one or the larger one. I tend to buy the larger because I do this for a living, but for you at home, maybe the smaller is more economical. You'll get some G-Technic supply gloves. Normally, they're about eight sizes too big for my hands, so I bin them. You'll get a generic how to apply sheet. You can bin that because that's why I'm here. And you'll get some cotton applicators and a silly little window sticker. All you need is the coating and the applicators. Now, like I say, I bin the gloves because they're too big for me, but can't recommend enough. If you're using a coating, throw some gloves on, black ones, blue ones, any color you want. As long as they fit, they'll protect your hands. Now, on with the coating. Small amount of product onto one of the cotton applicators that they supply you with and just start working it in. It should be a really easy process because you put in so much work to prepare the surface and instantly you sort of see that transformation happening before your eyes. Now like I say, Porsche of this era are known for bad trim fade, hence why I've done it on this car. This is a service I offer a lot to people when I'm doing ceramic coating, sort of trim restoration and it always goes down really well. And I have to say, in my opinion, it transformed the look of this car. This is a 15,000 mile 2003 car and the trim was letting it down. So for not a lot of money, the customer has now transformed that car back to how it should be by just finishing it off with the trim. The rest of the car had already been detailed. This was the finishing touch. Now, I like to work in small, concise areas. So I've probably done half of the scuttle and half of the underbody scuttle piece which continues down before coming back in with a fresh microfiber and buffing it off. Now as with any coating I do, once I've used that microfiber and it's absorbed coating, it goes to the side, maybe it'll wipe up some oil off the floor one day or I might use it with some tire and glue remover to clean a tire, but one thing it doesn't do is touch bodywork again. 
That's crucial. There you have it, a true 50-50 as to why you need to buy this product, in my opinion. Um, like I say, this isn't going to be for everyone, but definitely if you've got a Porsche this here and you've got a faded trim, this is how you fix it. Thank me later or leave a comment below. Um, love it when I'm getting comments and people are engaging with the channel and the more you do that, the more I'm encouraged to make videos. And don't forget, as soon as I get 10,000 subscribers, it's going to be a detailing giveaway from Ultimate Finish uh, and talking about Ultimate Finish. If you're in the market for a bottle of this, I'll throw a code up on the screen now, which is Joe10. On your first order with those guys, you get 10% off. So if you need a bottle of this, it's worth treating yourself and your car. With that said and done, I think you'll agree. It's a true transformation. But what did it look like before? There you go. Grey, dull, faded, horrible. However, afterwards, it's deep, dark, lustrous, and finishes off this car perfectly. As always, if you've enjoyed it, like it, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. Um, the more, again, the more you interact, the more I'm willing to put more videos out. It really encourages me. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.